might explain to you that we've begun the school by studying about our country and uh, how it's governed. Now, let's see. Well, now, Nora, uh, would you tell the class what you've learned about the United States? The United States is a republic, and the republic is a state in which the people are the boss. That means us. And if the big shots in Washington don't do like we vote, we don't vote for them, by golly, no more. Anymore. Anymore. That's fine, Nora. That's just fine. Now, I wonder if anybody in class remembers what the basic law of the land is called. Now, you remember I told you that it had to be added to and changed from time to time by things called amendments. Now, does anybody remember? Oh, Julieta, your hand's always up. Here, let, let's... Pompey, you, you try this one. It was writ by Mr. Thomas Jefferson of Virginia. It was written, Pompey. Written by Mr. Thomas Jefferson. And he called it the Constitution. Declaration of Independence. Uh, it begun with the words, uh, we hold these truths to be... Uh, self-evident. Let them alone, Charlie. Uh, self-evident that, uh, that... That all men are created equal. That's fine, Pompey. I knew that, Mr. Ranch, but I just plumb forgot it. Oh, that's all right, Pompey. A lot of people forget that part of it. You did just fine, Pompey. Thank you, Mr. Rance. Now, this law of the land also states that the governing power rests with the electorate. The electorate. Now, that means you. That means the people. And you exercise this power through the vote. Now, uh, yeah. Vous voudrez bien sortir, monsieur. Eh? Oh, 